And when you see scenes like this, you realize that it's all really worth it. Federico Mori, the Italian, got a wonderful back line, Bayern. Not too many changes from last week. Watch out for Tavita Tatafu, the Tongan 21-year-old. He has just been on fire in a big way. Uzziah Kasim, the number eight for Bayern. Quality indeed. Guillaume Rue returning to the number nine position with Maxi Machineau on the bench. Rue Lopez, the 9-10 combination. This is the business end of the top Cators. Six more games remain after this one. In fact, Bayern, who are in 10th position, could leapfrog too long with a win out here today. And Cami Lopez out onto the pitch as uh, Bayon, and uh, they got a wonderful uh, special jersey inspired by the team that are hosting them in their own Real Arena, Real Sociedad, the blue stripes. Pierre Mignoni and his men looking to try and upset Bayon and Gregory Patat here on Basque soil. On the Spanish side of the border, all of the ingredients point towards one fine showdown to complete round 20. And uh, Monsieur Pierre Brousset is the man in charge tonight. Jean-Luc Reboulal is the man looking over the video images and the replays. Cami Lopez gets this game Finier. underway. Bati Seran. Such an important player. His kicking game is fantastic. And there's a knock on there from the, uh, the attempted catch from Remy Baje. Not ideal. Well, look at David Ribbons. He's such a, a giant player, isn't he? The uh, the ten capped English lock. Spent years playing in South Africa, of course, and then Northampton Saints. He's been brilliant for Toulon. Probably the the best foreign player within the Toulon team since his arrival at the start of the season. Batty Siran. Back in business. Great to see him back. Player fully capable of filling the, the number nine position for Fabien Galtier's France. Of course, with that shoulder injury that he picked up in December, the boss didn't manage to uh, fight for one of those lucrative spots. Calling on Twan Dupont's decision to uh, try and play for the Olympic Sevens team. Siran, bigger outside of him. Here he is, Dan Bigger. Quick passing. Duncan Payawa to uh, Villiers. Villiers into Melvin Jaminet's hands. There's Tuikuru. Siran, bigger. Charles Olivon this time. 
Look at the battle at the breakdown. You've got to go for it. That is snatched and pinched there by Paulos, but the knock-on was made just when Oliver was putting the ball on the ground. Kasim, I think, is the player. Former Scarlet's man. Yeah, there it is. A little bit of butterfingers. It looks like uh, David Ribbon's getting a bit of treatment for Toulon. Cami Lopez. 171 points this season for Bayonne. And there's the players that injured. Raisa Tolafua, Etria, Ben White, Enzo Hervé, Drian, the top try scorer for Toulon. Six tries. And we see it still with that shoulder injury. Gail Drian with seven tries, sorry, not six. Got a fractured finger, there it is. Um, <laughs> the bandage around the fingers, and I, I think that um, Ribbons has got a contact lens issue, that's why we got the phone. He'll be fine. Um, he's the complete player, isn't he? He's the complete lock. You'll see that he uh, fearless in the loose, great in the line out, the strength that he has, but also his uh, field position, support play. Really has it all. Uh, hooker with an issue there, it's uh, Facundo Bosch. Just not with the right foot there in position. European champion with La Rochelle, Facundo Bosch. Signed until 2026 for Bayonne. Flexion. So uh, Greg Patat working alongside Gerard Fraser, backs coach. Joel Ray. There it comes out, Seran. Dan Bigger. There's the pass, you've got to watch out. He's uh, very mobile, isn't he? Fang Nuku is Seran once again. Gabin Villiers, French international. Ball comes out. Does really well, Seran, into the hands of Alan Uweze. Ribbons comes to the rescue. Seran, Dan Bigger. There's the hesitation. Nicely done to Ikuru. As Jamine gets the ball out. Charles Olivon on the outside. Big man going through. Crashes into enemy territory. Seran. Danny Priso. Alan Uweze. Former Wakito and Glasgow player. Fanganuku. Good pressure here from Toulon. Bobigny. To Ikuvu. Guillaume Rue has been uh, pinged for offside there. Just came off his position. A little bit too quick. The Spanish number nine. Back from injury. He was on the bench last weekend. It was Max Machino who started. And uh, straightforward kick for Melvin Jaminet. Well, that's the kind of thing that he does. Uh, Leicester, Fango Nuku. Jean Olivon. He's just a little bit. Uh, there you go. Rue just coming off his line. Just wasn't very mobile, Olive Olivon, when he took the pass there.
Jaminé puts the first points on the scoreboard from the tee. And the travelling friends from Toulon all smile so far. That's 121 points for Jaminé. Eighth highest scorer in the top 14 this season so far. Going back to the to the team where it all started. For him, Toulon. After uh, a stint at Toulouse where it just didn't work out for him. Couldn't really find his position. Frustrated. Not starting at 15. Likes of Ramos and Co. Colonel Dupre. Facundo Bosch with the line out for Bayonne. Bayonne decided to come here, although it's been stolen, wonderfully stolen there from uh, that man, Abadi. There's the kick. Tibetian. Puts it, oh, a little slip, and that's a mistake. He's in offside position, it's a penalty for Toulon. And very frustrating there for Matteo Carreras. The slip there from Jake Tibetian. And this is very frustrating. And Germany has the ball in hand, he's going to ask for the tee once again. They're quite happy kicking away for the penalties. That was Aberdeen, perfectly stolen. They go way higher than Pierre Bouguet. Another fine kick, the flags go up again. Esteban Abadi, the, the former Breve flanker. Comes from a big rugby family. His father was uh, Jeffroy, was uh, a player as well. Just like his, uh, his uncle, French internationals. Geoffroy was his uh, father. So most definitely in his DNA. Facundo Bosch. Bayon, this time perfectly won. Needs someone to pick it up. Oh, it's just been dropped. And you can play with that. Danny Priso, he's got Olivon just outside of him. Bumps off Facundo Bosch. Down on the deck. Seran, quick ball. It's Brian Allen who is he? Charging through Bayon traffic. Seran once again. Dan Bigger. Duncan Payawa. Trying to kick it through. Oh, that's a cheeky little kick there from Baje. But Gabin Villiers is there to meet him. Meet the ball and uh, Baje tries to chase him. Serran does well. Melvin Jaminet. Oh, it's a bit of a wild pass, but uh, he does really well. Bobigny, but it's forward. And the referee nearly getting smashed down by Baptiste Serran. There will be a scrum for Bayonne. For the forward pass. Just look at that, you've got to really be clinical. Yeah, he's not a happy man, it makes complete sense. There's the little chip uh, grubber there from Duncan Payawa. Villiers picks it up. Oh, 
a bit of wild passing. Better off going deep and, and starting your attack from deep rather than just uh, flat passes when there's a lot of players just caught up in the, in the middle of the pitch. Kion Rui, Kazima, good acceleration off the back of the scrum. Some good running there from Eben Artigari. Yeah, he's just uh, preventing the ball from being free there from Eben Artigari. Lopez sticks it into the stands. Duncan Bayauer at fault. But looks like it wasn't straight again. Uh, just giving away easy ball to Toulon, which is problematic. Uh, yeah, just went a little bit uh, towards the Bayern side there, towards uh, Baptiste Higgy. Those little victories will... Uh, Give Toulon plenty of confidence. They go in search for a fifth French championship title. Long way away to go. Bernard Lemaitre, the, the president, would love to see them conquer the French top 14, but did win the Challenge Cup last year. Danny Priso conquered Europe with La Rochelle. Of course, the 18 cap French international, originally from Loom in Cameroon. Flexio! Betty Serran, the maestro, back for Toulon. Very quickly into the hands of Charles Olivon. Look at him, he just crashes into Guillaume Rue. That's a forward pass, surely. Well, the referee not picking up on that linesman either. There's Serran, got to get quick ball out. Danny Priso picks it up. Very sturdy. Uh, and strong, of course, the moment that he's uh, on his feet, he just doesn't get knocked over. He's got giant pillars. Seran, Dan Picker. Once again, Olivon. Picked up by Duncan Payao. Well, that's beautifully done. Tries to get moving into the hands of Bobigny. Bobigny brought down by Paulos. Ribbons gets the ball, tries to go himself. Might not be the best option, but goes down slowly, waits for the cavalry. Went backwards, the referee's not worried about that. Stolen by Bosch. Oh, well. And kicked away by Lopez. Big kick as well. Dan Bigger's back. Running into trouble. Baget's up on him very quickly. And that might be a ball for Bayern. Oh, they've managed to salvage it somehow. Gigashvili is the man. The strong... Georgian tight head prop. And luckily for Toulon, he's there playing his 99th match for Rugby, Rugby Club Toulon 8. There's the uh, clearance kick from Batty Seran. And Dan Bigger under a lot of pressure in his own backyard. And look at that steal from Facundo Bosch on Jaminet. There's Bigger. Just turns his head. He knows the player's coming. The bounce wasn't favourable. Tries to cut inside. 
Murray comes in to hit him, but finally Serran's there to save the day. Perfectly taken there from Higgy. Uh, from Ituria, sorry. Facundo Bosch at the back. Gil Roy. Quite happy to take that. Mori comes into the line. Is Ituria once again. Guillaume Rue. Taken forward by Batiste Gui. 100% Bayonne. Lopez. Good opportunity for Benata Gary to get moving. The advantage being played here. Rue, Ituria. Still got an advantage. They can do something with this. There's Facundo Bosch. He's so mobile. Flung down by Tuikuvu. Rue. Pierre Ugue. Picked up by Kasim. Straight into Gigashvili. This is good spell. Good pressure here from Bayon. And Rui. Little change of direction, Lopez, what options? Little kick behind Tibetan, trying to go through the middle. Oh, he does really well. Oh, it's a slalom. He needs to change his boots because he's slipping and sliding. We got the advantage. He would have been away otherwise. I'm pretty sure about that. Well, we got a... It's a wonderful pitch, of course, but he slid over twice now, and I think that he needs to change his boots. Maybe the studs are too short, needs to get the longer studs, but they do have a penalty opportunity, and Cami Lopez will logically take this. But just look at this. He saw that there was a good acceleration, gets past uh, Fango Nuku so easily, and then afterwards just falls. Look at that. That angle is just too much. You could see that Dan Beagle was there, gets in his way, but he could have been away. And there's the frustration. And there are the small studs, the culprits. Cami Lopez, as clinical as ever from the tee. First points for the home team here in Donostia. Maxi Machino and Co. Remy Bordeaux, Tom Spring, Gil Matok. The subs ready to come on at any time, keeping warm. 12 degrees down here in Donostia, so temperature is not too, too cold. There's been floods across France. There's been a wild weather over the past week. Very strong winds as well, but uh, seem to be doing okay in the Basque country tonight. Ribbons does well, Siran, Dan Bigger, Brian Allen Oese. That's a great bit of Jacqueline taking place. There. Oh, the interception, Duncan Payao is going to go all the way. Very quick to react, over he goes. And that is a fine little bit of skullduggery there from the Samoan International. And the former Queensland man, try number three for the centre this season. Spotted it. Saw it, took it, scored it. Well, it all started with Fangundo Bosch and uh, with a, a wonderful steal, tries to get the ball into the hands of Matis Persho. And I'm afraid that when you've got a player like Payawa, who's just there ready to steal, you won't stop him. 
Well read. Melvin Germany and Cami Lopez having a kicking game at the moment. 100% so far for Germany. And that will continue from the tee. Three points for Bayonne. And it's uh, 13 for Toulon. Well, that was just too easy, wasn't it? Taken back inside, Dan Bigger, Brian Alanoese, Charles Olivon. Bigger ready to clear this. Taken very quickly there by uh, Cami Lopez, Tibergen. It's you can't do a 50 22 there. It got taken back in. It will be too long to get possession, but the kick was fantastic. So there it is, gets taken back in. There's the uh, the line out from Lopez. Over the top. Oh, it's been stolen. Look at that. Well, I don't know why the referee blew his whistle. Maybe wasn't in the right. Oh, there wasn't a gap in the line out. Apparently, that's a little bit frustrating. And a little bit lucky there for Toulon. Because that looked like it was going to get pinched right out of the air. Just look at this. And he was all over that, wasn't he, Uzai Kasim? And it's another steal. Knock on galore. And it will be a scrum for Bayon at five metres out. Bit shambolic in the line out. Ribbons can't get his hands on it. These are the moments that uh, can shake you up. Got to get it right. Bobigny. That was absolutely brilliant there from Artur Turia. Just getting in the way, the former Bayonne player between 2009 and 2012. Of course, went to Claremont until last summer. Back to his roots and playing proudly for the boys from the Basque Country. Guillaume Rui with a, an important set piece here. Oh, he's off the back very quick. Kazim doesn't waste a single second. Charge this time coming from Lucas Paulos, the Argentinian. Hit back by the Toulon defence. Players queuing up, watch out for the very important Tatafu. Scored last week against La Rochelle. Oh, is that, no, there's no hands on the ball. You can see that uh, Danny Preso, very good at jackling. Just needs to get his hands on the ball, it's been picked up. Ujre's there. Goes himself, Kasim takes the pass finally. Rui. Oh, he's went, went backwards. Look at Ribbons, does a brilliant job. Oh, it's been grounded. Has that been grounded? On the Facundo Bosch, they win it back. Kasim. Crikey, this is madness. Kion Rui tries to dig and pick out the ball. It goes back, it goes a little bit deeper. Cami Lopez, there's uh, Tiberja with a wonderful angled run. It's been picked out, Rui. Surely it's Ituria. Crashes over from close range. And the boy from the Basque country, Artur Turia, scoring a very important try for Bayon here at the Real Arena in Donostia.
Well, this Kasim, the, no one, the cameraman, even didn't catch him. He was moving so quickly. Look at that running line there from Tibij and the fullback. And the players come in. Rue with a wonderful short pass to enable Ituria to come crashing into that angle. No one will stop him from there. And that's a fine score for Bayon. Hit back with their own try. Cami Lopez delivers a fine conversion to make it 10-13. It's been a wonderful season for try scoring in the top Catours. We've already got a 690 five tries 41 tries scored in uh, the 19th round last weekend and we're, it's the second highest number of tries scored at this stage of the competition since uh, since the the top categories was created and the best in the last uh, six years we're averaging on five tries, 0.23 per match. Bobigny off the top. Bigger, bigger, that's nicely done. Duncan by hour, Melvin Jaminet cuts inside. Little jagged run, anybody going for him, finally brought down. And just not getting out of the tackle zone, Paulos, the Argentinian. Bernal and Uezi. Batiseran, Batiseran. Corne de Prey, we've got the advantage. We'll go back to that. Chance for Toulon to kick for three from the tee. Might be the case, just uh, having seen how they've been managing their moments up until now. And Germany will indeed go for the sticks. There he is, uh, the man responsible for not rolling out of the tackle zone. Oh. Now just look at the, the position. Oh, it's, uh, it's falling on the wrong side. Joris so Sigons, who will be heading to Bayern at the end of the current season from Stade Francais. On holiday with his partner, it looks like, down here in San Sebastian. And a clean kick there from uh, Melvin Jaminet. Ten sixteen. Well, too many players in front of the kicker, Lopez, and I think it's going to be a scrum. What a mistake. You have to be behind the kicker. They're just a lapse in concentration. Uh, these little moments that you just really got to get right. Very frustrating for, uh, for a coach. Gary Patat must be... Pulling his hair out. Flexion. Cami Lopez, 88% success rate from the tee. Germany, 85. Uh. 
Matty Seran, 30 minutes into the first half, gets the ball out to Payawa. It's been picked up there by the dangerous Fang Anuku. The new recruit, great work at the breakdown. Rian Rue in the danger zone. Just, you know, when you got a number nine, he wants to get his head dirty and get him, get stuck into the, into the loose and try and jackle the ball. Got to give him full credit because normally they're not the same size as the guys in the engine room or anywhere else on the pitch, basically. The pillars uh, are a different shape. Well, it all looks uh, very well. That's a great tackle. Look at that from Benate Gary. And then afterwards, that's the moment that you go in. It's all about perfect timing. Bosch. Higgy does well. Uguay with a nice move. Little box kick there from Rue. Villiers. Met by Remy Baget. Yeah. Remy Baget capable of scoring incredible tries from miles downtown in his own backyard. Got five tries this season, uh, Baget. Joined Bayon in 2018. Tibeja. No slip this time. And a crossfield kick. Don't know if that, oh, spillage. Rare spillage from Jaminet. Took his eyes off the ball marginally. Don't worry about it. The teammates get over it. No, oh, Tibergian thought, well, I've kicked it right into his path. The Jaminet's got loads of time to do whatever he wants, but it's not the case. Eyes off the ball. I don't go to use it. The basket had a hole at the bottom. Seven minutes remaining in the first half. The Real Arena in San Sebastian. We were there for the semi-finals of the top Catos last season. Kasim Lopez. Oh, it's just a great hit there from Duncan Payawa. Read it perfectly. As a 25-year-old open side flank at Higgy. Goes back, Lopez changed the direction, gets rid of Seran. Little chip down into the corner. Sneaky, can't do anything with that. And Jamini just waits before he tries to throw it in. Lopez, look at that. There was a bit of contact there on uh, Matteo Carrera's head. Perfectly weighted from Lopez. Such a fine kick, it's such a, a classy player with the boot. The experience and what he's achieved in his career just enables him to understand how to dose the kicks and the little the grubbers and the, the chips over the top. Oh, he's been caught, Bobigny, you've got to be careful. There's a big man all over him, and that's going to be a scrum, surely, for Bayon. They've done super well. That's a great bit of work. The way that he swam, Lucas Paulos, into that driving mall to make sure that Teddy Bobigny was not coming out. I mean, that was an Olympic effort, that really was. Look at his hands. He's going over, he's going in. And Bobigny is not coming out. That's fantastic work from the Argentinian lock. Everybody gets uh, a high five, low five, big five. Joel Ray watching on it. Tangi, Cote, Sait, Reese Hodge, Mancala, Rabi, and Gaten German, all of the players out. Tangi should be back soon. 
And Research will be back next weekend, normally, when uh, Bayon travel to Stadford's not, not, not next weekend. We've got European rugby for the next couple of weeks. But on the 20th of April, they'll be heading to the French capital to take on the leaders, Stade Francais. And uh, Rissage will be back. Next weekend, he will be back because they're playing against Edinburgh in the Challenge Cup, of course. He was on there. He was meant to play against La Rochelle last weekend, but there was a small little hindering injury that kept him sidelined. Keaton German, Pascal Corte out for the rest of the season. Mancala with an ankle operation. And Aurelien Calandre should be back pretty soon. Six tries, there's the penalty going against by, I can't believe it. Well, look how the tables turn. And, uh, major frustration for Matisse Perchon. He was the... Weakest link in that scrum that caught the attention of Pierre Brousset. Dan Bigger will use that right foot of his to send it up towards the halfway line. Got a few more minutes remaining. It's, uh, it's an interesting clash. Could go anywhere. And Pesho collapsing big time on the other side. And that's, that's those opportunities that you just get frustrated with. And now uh, you can see Patat's reaction. There is ribbons, ribbons off the chop. Oh, he threw it really, really hard into uh, Batty Seran's chest picks up. That's nicely done. Good hands, beautifully done. And the pass there from uh, Kunal Depay. Gigashvili doing well. Seran, Seran, great opportunity. Watch out for this man, Fango Nuku. Does get tackled well. Batty Seran, Bobigny with support. Seran, little change of direction. Cheeky, Melvin Jaminet dodges the bullet. Seran takes it up to the five meter line. Fanganuku into the hands of Danny Priso. He'll gain a meter or two normally. Charles Olivon goes himself. Picked up by Brian Alanueze. The Samoan. Well, there might be a turnover ball. That's No, it's. Uh, not allowed to contest. Danny Priso once again. Gigashvili's just trying to help him out. It's two minutes left to play. The boy on defence being tested in a big way. David Ribbons. Olivon unable to make that available. Players queuing up to try and carry it over. They got big, burly forwards up towards the line, not on the line. Hasn't been grounded. There's an offside call there for a player in offside position. There it is, Bobigny gets the ball out. Brian Allen weighs it. Surely he's going to ground that. Yes, he has. Well, you can't stop him. He's a giant. The 30 year old Samoan with his second try for Toulon this season. Unstoppable from close range. One of the tallest players on the pitch tonight. Short pass, fine score. Well, that was the, the short pass. And he head down, a little bit of support coming from Cornet de Prez. And uh, yeah, he's, he's just, you're not going to stop him. Matteo Carrera, a bit of a mismatch there in terms of a, a defender. Fine score from Alan Oezi. Well, Alan Oezi was such a, a powerhouse against Montpellier in their crushing victory against... Uh, uh, against... Uh, Pernod Laporte's man, 54-7 last weekend at the GGL Stadium. Biggest win this season. 
very important victory for Toulon. And now they've moved 11 points ahead with Jamine looking to make it 13. Not a problem for Jamine. And the half-time scores here at the Real Arena. It is by on 10, Toulon at 23. Well, Bayern have had their chances. They haven't managed to exploit their situations. A couple of good attacking uh, line-outs. And... Uh, Let's get a reaction. 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 Let's get a Parfait, je sais pas, je pense qu'il y a encore stop, des choses à corriger. Stop perfect, there's Notamment things to work on. Ça fait euh, yeah. deux fois qu'on se met dans la merde et il marque, yeah, getting, getting, il marque getting les sessions sur une erreur de notre part. Je pense qu'il y a encore des choses à corriger. Uh, giving the ball away, they've scored twice. Mais après, euh, sur l'envie et sur la conservation du ballon, et la concentration et notre will, I think we're in, uh, we're in a good place. Voilà, so we need to just use that going into the second half. Christophe Abadi has been working hard in the line out, very strong. Eight seasons in total, but... Uh, coming over in 2019. And 44 caps playing for France. Hopefully there'll be a few more because, to be honest with you, he's just a, he's a veteran, but he's just so good. But with the likes of Antoine Dupont and Nolan Le Garek in that number nine position, Maxime Lucou, of course, for UBB, it's uh, complicated, the pecking order, but still, if he continues to shine for his club Toulon, then I think that, well, the world is his oyster. Happy for this man as well, Arthur Tourier, another former French international, 15 caps. Pierre Mignoni will be happy with Batty Serran. Of course, uh, Mignoni, a former number nine, French international as well. Spent a long, lot of his career at Clermont playing in the yellow jersey. Around the, surrounded by dormant volcanoes in the Auvergne region of France, central France, a very special place. Dan Bigger gets the second half underway. Big hit there coming on Pierre Ugre. That's a penalty, that is. Well, how about that for a brilliant start to the second half? Forced to play the ball on the ground. It's such a complicated scenario, isn't it? By on 43 points in 10th position. Toulon, 5th position on 50 as it stands. The, the big boys arriving, it's just complicated when you've got Abadi and you've got Prizo. That's one of the fastest starts. And earliest penalties you'll get in the top captors this season. Kickoff penalty, Jamine. And another three points on the pile, 16 point lead. What can they do from this kickoff? Picked up by Dupre. Voilà. Stop là. Seran puts it on his left foot. And that's a fine clearance kick. 
Well, the strategy always in communication. You know, in France, the number nine, the onus is on the number nine. And uh, you can understand why when you've got the likes of Dubon, Lecou. It's not on the number 10 like in Southern Hemisphere or other nations outside of France. They make the decisions. The leaders are number nine. The likes of Rory Cockart and Morgan Barra. Penalty. Got to get away from the jumper and not get tangled up in the air. Lopez slams it into the corner. We're just on the edge of the 22. Now they've got to get this line out right. They messed it up the last time. In one of the uh, elements of their game, they got to sort out. Batiste Guy. You've got the likes of uh, Ribbons getting in the way. Abadie as well. They like to gate crash parties. It goes over the shot this time. Gashvili picks it up. Here's uh, Villiers. And he's meeting Pierre Ugwe. Biggest kick, not a great kick, but. Uh, oof. Two version. Gets caught in uh, midfield. Guillaume Rue. Baje bouncing off Alan Oese. Meets Gigashvili on the ground. That's not a good pass. Now they've been driven back. I haven't seen Tavita Tatafu with much ball. Really needs to get more involved. Special. Oh, it's a charge down. Batty Seren is going to pick this up. This is easy. What a brilliant piece of defensive play, and it works in his favour. Batty Seren is back, back in business in a big way. Third try for him this season. But he's pulled out a five-star performance already. Well, Lopez tries to put it on that left foot. There's no one back. Scoops it up. Over he goes. Brilliant charge down from the maestro. Well, I think everybody understands just how important Batty Seran is to this Toulon team because what has he not done out here so far? And we're only five minutes into the second half. Jamade to make it 23 point lead. Now the kick uh, looks good as well, goes high. Well, they really are feeding off that 54-7 point annihilation of Montpellier last weekend. Patrice Galazzo couldn't believe his eyes. Bernard Laporte couldn't either. On a day where Mourad Boujelal was actually Watching as well, uh, Felix Mayol. Toulon in possession. There he goes again, Siran, big kick. Guidicelli replaces Bosch in the front row. Bordeaux replaces Uge. And former Lara uh, Rochelet, Martok on for Baget. Got to just shake things up a little bit. He's done the right thing there. Greg Patat. <laughs> and Cormenier on four. Matisse Peschot. 
Danny Priesto's ankle getting some treatment. As we gear up for another line out from Teddy Bobigny. Teddy Bobigny's replacement, Jack Singleton, the former Gloucester player. Got a bit of a hit to the head last weekend. Wasn't deemed uh, too dangerous, the concussion. That wasn't straight. So the former English international hooker starts on the bench tonight. But uh, a few players uh, in the Toulon team that got picked up small injuries. Ben White, the Scottish number nine. Bit of concussion, keeping him out today. Gail Drain with that fractured finger. There was a tendon issue. The uh, Achilles for Anthony Etria. Facundo Isa with a thigh strain. And Wesia with that shoulder injury. So, wasn't the best of days in terms of uh, injured players, but in terms of the results, 54 points on Montpellier. Well, they are the team that are really not firing. Having seen them win the Brenner Shield in 2023, there's a charge here. It was 2022, of course, uh, to lose the winners of the Brenner Shield last year, beating La Rochelle oh, with oh, Roman Tamak stopping Ronan O'Gara's men in the 78th minute. And then that wonderful dance through the defence. Well, Bayern under a lot of pressure here. And uh, there's no one there, Benate Gary, and they get the penalty as well. Hesitation. Didn't have the support. And great work coming in from the giant centre, Lester Fanganuka. Fanganuka coming in and, and just making it very complicated. Born in Tonga, of course, uh, Fanganuku. Just look what happens the moment he goes down. There you go, it's just behind him. Seran first, first on the man. Lopez trying to help out. Then afterwards, there he is. Fanga Nuku, right over the ball. He's actually from Nuku Alofa, which is where Tevita Tetafu, the other uh, tight head prop from Bayonne, was born. But decided to represent New Zealand, seven caps. For the outside centre, Melvin Jaminet constantly kicking points. One sided affair so far. Well, this time, the linesman are not happy with its uh, direction. And a first miss for Jaminet. Jean-Baptiste Gros back from injury and ready to come on. Oh, all of a sudden, he's got 27 caps as a French international. Two-time under-20 world champion back in 2018, 2019 with the, the, new, the coach of uh, Section Paloise, Sebastien Picaroni. Dupre tackled there by Swan Cormillier. They got an advantage here as well. Nicely taken there by Lopez. Carreras. And it's Toulon who will get possession. Nothing's working for Bayern. Three players offside. Tatafu just uh, needed to stand back. Arturituria, now Bati Seran.
What a sterling performance from Batty Serrano. Still passing on the advice, Pierre Mignoni, seeing things. Passing on his information. Tuikubu hasn't really touched the ball yet, but the player that could come to life, the former Breve player. And Jamine, it looks good to me. The flags do go up this time and finally gets those extras. 10 at 36. You know, these traveling supporters are getting their money's worth from a trip that's uh, probably taken a handful of hours from the uh, east of Marseille. I think Danny Priso has gone off as well, so Jean-Baptiste Gros is on there. You can see him straight into the heart of the action. Serran, Jaminet, sticks it right down the middle. And we're going to go back to where he made contact with that. Not good. Let's give them a chance to do something up here. And it was way up in enemy territory. Uh, Dan Bigger, sorry. Trying to put it on Jaminet. Well, it's going to be a penalty for Bayonne, in fact. It's coming in at an angle. I think it was Jamine, the, the kick previously. Uh, in any case, let's um, go back. Marchois on for Turia. Let's see what Bayonne can produce. Mori, smash back. Kyung Rue with his feathers being ruffled. Oh, it's a good bit of running here from that man, Carreras. We've been looking to try and see what he's capable of doing. Oh, Gabin Villiers coming up. Uh, he's under a little bit of pressure there, Ebenat Gary, and a penalty has been awarded. That's excellent from Villiers. Uh, Villiers is a really difficult player to, to budge. He, he really isn't afraid of getting that red head down into the ground and getting grappling the ball and trying to rip it. He was... Uh, Put on the wing for the very first time by Richard Hill at Rouen. And, uh, well, I think that he's he can most definitely say thank you to him because that was a, a bold move to bring him from scrum half onto the wing. Hasn't looked back since. His sevens career has been wonderful. And uh, 15 as well. Seven tries in 16 matches for France as Batty Serran gets it back out bigger into Duncan Payawa. Powers through the Bayon defense. They go again. This is uh, Serran. Serran, anybody there? He's still going into it. 22. Oh. Well, there's a penalty there. And hands on the ground. And a yellow card potentially. Or a warning. He's to contest. He's in four It's not possible. Yeah, next time you will be shown a yellow card. And they go again. As, uh, well, let's see if they follow Pierre Mignoni. They've got three tries to one, so no bonus points so far. You've got to have a difference of three tries. Well, they 
battled big time to deal with La Rochelle last weekend at Jean Doge winning 13-12. La Rochelle frustrated that they didn't manage to, to win that. Had the chance to, to kick as well and Antoine Herstoy missing a few penalties, but by on today. Oh, they're very much playing second fiddle to a very fired up Toulon team. Looking very strong as Jeremy Sanzel in the stands. Have to try and hit back. Kemi Lopez. Oh, he's been snatched out of the sky. Gabin Villiers, he's got the pace. The pressure is on. Let's see where this bounces. Got to ground and there's nothing you can do. Yeah, he couldn't really do anything with that Tom Spring. No, he didn't take it back over. He just grounded it in the, uh, behind the goal line. Machino replaces Rue. Let's see what Machino can do. Schultz on for Tatafu, picked up by Ribbons, 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 oh, he just couldn't get the ball into the hands of Olivon, still in possession, and a player who uh, might be injured there, I'm not too sure. Is it Serran who's down on the ground? I don't know. Um, well, this is Tom Spring, this is what he does. He's a wonderful, wonderful, expansive, skillful running player. Machino smashes it down, fields. Picked up by Jamine. Jamine places this into the hands of Lopez. More than 23 minutes remaining. Tom Spring, Batty Serran, safe as houses. Machino trying to get his hands on the ball. Sorry, uh, yeah, it is Maxi Machino. Dan, Dan Bigger's high kick. No one's really chasing that. Tuikuru might get there. Oh, my word. Didn't really wrap on Lopez. Picks up by Carreras. Urban Ateke. He's a great runner of the ball. The, uh, the Basque boy from Moulion. This is better. Lopez. Mori getting the ball out. The ever dangerous Guillaume Martok. Got three tries, the former Carcassonne player coming around the outside. You cannot do that. Oh, his hands on the ground, sorry. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Caban Villiers getting caught up in the middle. Bit of head rubbing going on. Getting to know each other a little bit better here in the Donostia. Oh, that was, that was the Tuikuvu hit on Lopez. Let's just... Uh... Cards are coming out next time. And uh, 10 more meters. Hands on the ground, trying to jackal the ball. And referee not happy with that. And then the nonsense that happened after that. There's Olivon with a tap in the face of uh, Machino, and then just got a little bit out of hand. Not the first time in French rugby we've seen that. Gagashvili makes way for Emmerich Setiano. And it uh, looks like Tuikuvu is being replaced by Juta Wanengolo. And Paolo Garbisi on for Dan Bega. Well, it's all about management now. Le Courvec on for Prise. Perfectly taken off the back. That's nicely done. Kasim into the hands of Mori. Machino 
Cause big hit, big strong hit for Ribbons. He's been outstanding. That's good play for Mashno quickly around the outside. Taken forward there by Jack Singleton. Does uh, by um, Fanson Guidicelli, sorry. Kasim, another charge. Bayon need to hit back. Swan Cormelia this time, seven meters out. The Toulon defense in fine position here. Mashno. Here's Kasim. Head down into traffic. Alan Ueze picked up here and by Remy Bordeaux. Bordeaux does well. Machino. This time the backs. That's better. The ball comes out. It's a good opportunity here. And Matteo Carreras, the Argentinian winger, unable to do anything. Yeah, there's a penalty and uh, not allowed to get his hands on that. Juan Angolo penalised. Machino again. Here's Denny Marchois. 20 minutes to go. Bayon seeking those points that will just uh, put a little bit of pressure on Toulon, who have been outstanding. Yeah, Lester Fanganuku. <laughs> little chip over the top, that's cheeky. It's a nice little position. Well, has it been grounded there by Lopez? I think it's Jamine. Yeah, it's not been grounded. A good idea, though. But there is a penalty. The idea was good. I think that when you're in that position, just got held back marginally, didn't he? Just couldn't find a, a clean, clear path to get between defenders, Lopez. Otherwise, he would have been on that quickly. Nicely done. Stick it in the corner and go again. Look at that from Mashino. Yeah, it's grounded by Chamonet. Does well. Need to win this line out. Oh, it's uh, short, nicely done. Picked up by Kasim. Needs to change his angle. Oh, he's doing really well, Bayon. Got the advantage, Mashino. Mashino's being held in there. Does well, Higgy. It's there for the taking. Paulos, 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 trying to power his way between Toulon defenders. Inch closer towards the try line, but uh, it's another player just uh, flying off his feet. And, and I wonder, Charles Olivon, who's going to be uh, guilty of this? Charles Olivon. Next time, players come off their feet, or if there is an infringement, we know what's going to happen. Quite a few warnings coming from uh, Pierre Brousset. Oh, it's going to be a tap this time. Guidicelli. Oh. Went backwards. Carreras, little slip. Hits the deck. Machino. Marchois unable to really make inroads. Kassim very busy, very active. Good running line there from Higgy. Machino again, Lopez, little change of direction. Here's Mori, the big Italian centre. And a knock on. And Garbisi part of that as well. And the Toulon defence, stand tall and win possession back. No, that, that's, that's, that's where it was, came from, Kassim, in fact. I thought that was... No, that was the spillage there from Mori. The pass to Kassim went backwards, but, uh, yeah, you can understand uh, Gregory Patat. Hasn't been an epic performance from Bayern. And just when you look at the calendar, it's going to become complicated after the European action. Bayern travel to Paris for round 21 on the 20th of April and then They've got Union Bordeaux Bergle at home. Rassing away. 
Perpignan at home, all in our way, and they finish off with Castro at home. Yeah. Rassing away will be tough. Oyenara away will be difficult. UBB at home will be complicated and Paris away will be full of danger. Communication breakdown. Not the ideal scenario. Matteo Carreras and Tom Spring not understanding each other. And again, this is just not really what you want. Matteo Carreras. Here's uh, Wanangolo. Wanangolo out to uh, Jamine. Oh, it's a wild pass to. Uh, there's a bit of contact taken quickly by uh, Villiers. Fanganuku, I uh, don't know what he was trying to do there, but um, Machina will gain an extra few meters, of course. Uh, Matteo Carreras, uh, third match playing for two for um, for Bayon. The 20 capped Argentinian. He's got lightning feet so fast and uh, can beat defenders in a big way. Trouble is that, well, he hasn't managed to uh, find his feet yet. Turia with a little bit of a wonky big toe, as you can see. Been in the wars. Ridicelli. Nicely taken off the top from uh, by. Denis Marchois. Setiano just uh, collapsing them all. Penalty will go against you if you speak to me like that ever again. You've been told. Guillaume Rue in. Uh, Miku Tadzi were the two players who played in the, the last clash between these two teams in uh, Aranueta in 2013. It was uh, Bayern who actually won 33-28. Miku Tadzi, of course, uh, now playing for Bayern. Not in the team today, not on the bench, but he's playing for Toulon at the time. Halaga, who won for Alan Oezi? Fifteen minutes remaining here. Machino, Lopez, inside pass, and Spring can't keep it in his hands. Some key players that we uh, would love to see back on the the pitch soon. Thanks to Reese Hodge. Top quality player, of course. So got Luke Tangi, who's uh, should be back. And some uh, ligament damage in his knee. Greta Jelly. Not straight. Oh, there's a player just coming behind him, I think. Yeah, there's an obstruction. Paros just coming behind. Well, there's not much for the Bayon supporters to cheer about tonight. It has been one-way traffic. Former Gloucester hooker will take this. Ribbons does well. Serran 
up BC bringing in Fanganuku. Seran digs for it, gets it out wide. Jamine flies over the tackle. Seran, Jean Baptiste Cro. Paulos with a strong tackle, but he still makes, gets over the game yard. Nice work with uh, Olivon. Goes backwards, it's not a problem. Or it is forward. Little, uh, little bit forward. It will be a scrum for Bayonne. Paulo Garbisi. Released by Montpellier. Just didn't want him. And uh, look at that, Batty, Batty Seran. Gives a big hurt to Jules Donglo. There's the try that he scored, but it's just been a top class performance there from the man, the maestro, returning to this Toulon team. Well done, that is great. Two great players back in the fold for their teams. Romain Tomac for Toulouse yesterday, and now Batty Seran. Back in business for Toulon at a critical time of the season. Toulon's running to the uh, final round of action in the top 14. La Rochelle away on the 20th of April. Lyon at home. Oyana away, Eastern France. Never easy to play Oyana in their own backyard, depending on where they are in the league, but at the moment they're uh, struggling and on the cusp of relegation, of course. Clermont at home, and then finishing off with a trip to Jean Boin to take on the current leaders of the top 14 Stade Francais for round 26. <laughs> Quick tap and off he goes, Kasim. Donglo with a good tackle to bring down the big man. Remy Bordeaux. Machineau. Kick over the top. Carreras unable to do anything. Jaminet's off and is uh, that man, Fango Nuku. Villiers just outside of him. Donglo. Ribbons. 10 minutes to go. Still lots of time for more tries. Toulon will be looking for that bonus point victory. They underlined what they wanted to do out here tonight. That's a good bit of running, that is from Mathieu Le Corvec, the former Munda Massan man. Danglo, Danglo goes. Tries to do the sniper move. Jean Baptiste Gros, they're all they're queuing up here. Look at that, the hands. Oh my word. Setter, Leicester, Fanga, Nuku taking the pass from Charles Olivon. Wonderful work down that left flank. And there it is, try number five for the New Zealander. And here's a big hug between the back line, but Charles Olivon, it started off with Jaminet. He saw that there was space out wide. Beautifully done. Fanganuku goes down in the early stages. Gro, Fanganuku, Olivon back into the basket for the seven capped All Black. And a fine team try down that left flank. Wrapped up and finished off by the ever dangerous Fanganuku. Bayon 10, Toulon 44. 54-7, they beat Montpellier last weekend. That was a home game, remember, Felix Mayol. Well, now they're racking up. A big tally here in Donostia as Jamine adds another two. It's 10-46. Got the advantage here as well. Picked up by Garbisi. 
The Italian fly half kicks it downfield. Tom Spring. Goes on a little bit of a wander. He's a wonderful fullback that loves to run from deep. Peter Schultz, the former Wasps tight head hooker uh, prop coming on. There's Cormillier. Spring again. Machino, Tom Spring. Denny Marshwa, Schultz, using the forwards through the middle. Seven minutes to go. Constantly a threat, isn't he, Uzziah Kassim, former Springbok. That's great work. But the hands are on the ground for Fanganuku, and it will be a penalty. Teddy Bobini. Batis Seran. Little whispers. We'll hopefully get a reaction from Batis to Seran after the game because, well, he's been the star of the show. And Pierre Mignoni, well, this is already a very impressive 100 points. In, uh, in the last two games scored. He'll take that every day of the week. Well, there's Danglo putting pressure on the uh, on the defences. Carrera is trying to go on a wander, running out of trouble. Look what Gro does. That's brilliant defensive play from the 24-year-old. Brave diving down at the ball from the Argentinian, but afterwards he just come up against Groves. A menace in the loose. Matteo Lecorvec. Stop, stop, stop. Box kick over the top from Donglo. Carreras, where's he gonna go? Around the outside, sees the mismatch with Ribbons. Runs into Jack Singleton, that's a little bit high. On the Argentinian, tap taken quickly, can't tackle him. Oh, that's a good pass to Zyka Sim, trying to keep the ball alive. It's Machino, diving on the ground, not allowed. Good opportunity here, Carreras tries to keep the ball alive. Federico Mori, still going as the scrambled defence tries to uh, deal with that. Nicely done by Marshua. Running out of space there with uh, Guillaume Martok. Bayern looking, they score a try, they take away the bonus. Winning points, the Toulon have. Batis Tigui, and a stolen ball, Donglo. 50-22, it's going to be a 50-22, that is just sublime there from the replacement. Scrum half, the 23-year-old Jules Donglo. A former Montpellier Espoir. Super, and a big boot with the right foot. That is just sublime. And Mignoni loves everything that comes from every scrum half who plays for his team. Having represented Le Bleu in that position. Well, yeah, they, those expressions tell you the tale. Tonight, Bayern have been beaten fair and square by a Toulon team, hungry, ravished after their storming victory over Montpellier last weekend. They go again. And a bit of swashbuckling, barbaric play there at the back from Emmerich Setiano. Olivon on the deck, Donglo, there's the pass into the hands of Abadi. Donglo again, 
Ribbons trying to keep the ball alive. Gro can't pick it up. They're queuing up to try and take the pass. Ribbons, again, he's been just storm trooping his way with these uh, Toulon players. It's trying to, it's kept alive. Well, it came off the knees and then off the hands. Knock on calls. Two more minutes. Try to hold on to this uh, bonus point win. This will be a massive result for Toulon. There's Donglo working his socks off since he came on. That was the knock on there from uh, as he tried to go darting through the, the hole. Kind of hiding underneath their blue berets. It's not the ideal scenario, is it, for a team who have invested so much in this home game here in Donostia, San Sebastian. <laughs> Penalty. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't know if that's from... Uh, I put to sleep from his team's performance or from something that he's possibly been drinking, but uh, it's a great look. They definitely know how to party down in these parts. And uh, there's some wonderful food and wine that you can get from uh, the Basque country. And pinchos, which is the, uh, the equivalent of the tapas in Spain. The stunning part of the world, San Sebastian. Well, line out be won. Olive Olivon goes again. Last few seconds. It's all about managing time. Use the forwards. Nothing's really going to stop them now. Donglo, 20 seconds. Look at Garbisi. Get the forwards involved. Keep hold of the ball is Singleton. He's on the ground, 10 seconds to go. Donglo takes a look at the clock. Now Ribbons needs to hit the deck. Now they've got to dig for it. Donglo will kick this. You know he's going to chuck it out. There it is. Jaminet has the last word. How about that for a crushing victory? And Bayon have been bashed big time here in Donostia. They've got a lot of thinking to do if they want to try and get themselves a place in the top six. Because Toulon have just barnstormed the Basque country in a big way. What a result. What a performance as they double up, having crushed Montpellier last weekend. The final score here at the Real Arena, home of the Soci Real Sociedad team, Bayon 10, Toulon 46. A hundred points scored in the space of a week for rugby club Toulon A. Dan Baker, well, played his part, of course, came off in the second half, but working alongside Betty Serra, and they seem to have found that wonderful gelled combination. But it's just not, it's not about the nine and ten. Betty Serra will go down as the star player out here today, but Olivon was monstrous for Toulon, put in a massive shift. And uh, the backs were on the prowl. Duncan Payawa was wonderful, of course. Some really big shifts. Even Esteban Abadi complicating. Avaron Bayon's, uh, the Bayon A team's defence causing them all sorts of problems. First half, they had a few opportunities to do something, but they 
missing out on important possession in the in the two long half. It's a, it's a, it's a catastrophe. I made mistakes. I made mistakes at the start. I was the first player to make mistakes. We're going to forget about this. We're going to move on. We're going to lift our heads up. And we're going to move on. It's not finished, guys. We've got to keep on going. We've got to lift our heads up. And we've got to lift our heads up quick. Cami Lopez trying to give the fighting talk to get them to move.